Hi everybody, I hope that you're all doing well. We are here with a general reading. Everybody is welcome. Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. It looks like you're working on getting to the bottom of something or even having a better, more clear understanding. This can also be like a learning environment that you're in. Many different things this can be. Working towards the truth, working towards ultimate understanding. For some of you, this can even be like some form of enlightenment that you're, some form of enlightenment that you're working towards. You may feel like there's a possible wall, a bit of a challenge, potentially. I'm not seeing this something that you can't work through. It just may feel like a bit of an obstacle for you. Maybe to get connected with something. All right. We have the Seven of Swords. We also have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. This can definitely be Seven of Swords if it's not related to like someone outside of you. It can be your own capacity to self-sabotage. So it can be like a lack of motivation. It can be like a laziness sometimes. It can be putting things off and not doing them. It can be like not trusting yourself. Many different things that the Seven of Swords can be. Not having faith as well too. Sometimes we fall trap into um, really like putting our ego on a on a pedestal sometimes even putting mm, putting things up above and over top of our self-trust and self-understanding i want to see what this is about though because sometimes it can be someone around you hmm. there may be something that you want to do i was seeing the empress coming out there may be something that you would feel empowered by or something that Maybe it would be like a brave step for you to take and at the same time you feel like you'd be showing up for yourself and you may not be doing it. With the Empress too, it's like there could be something that you want to be working on or something that you want to create or something that you want to build or produce, things like that, that you could be not allowing yourself to do that because of some sort of fear. Seven of Swords is fear and it's like things that get in the way. It's things that cause like a sense of cloudiness, doubt. Yeah, this is confidence about you playing a particular role that you feel interested in playing. The thing with the Seven of Swords too, because this can also be from other people, it can be like giving a lot of weight to the opinions of other people and then having that hold you back. Like, what is this person going to think? What is that person going to think? Like, what if I get um, ridiculed or judged or criticized? I want to hold myself back from being seen because I don't want to allow myself to be vulnerable. Maybe also you feel weary of showing other people where you're stepping. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups. This can be something that you want that you feel ashamed of. In some way. Not all of you may read it like that. Yeah, yeah. It's something that... Like, you want to keep something to yourself. Okay, so... The basis of the Seven of Swords is like, I don't want to be vulnerable, don't look at me, I don't want to be seen. So it can be like lies that we tell ourselves, lies that we tell other people. It's like not wanting to be vulnerable and see how it's like sneaking around? It's like, I don't want you to see me in this thing that I'm doing. I don't want you to see me in this thing that I want. So it's like, do you not feel good about something that you want? Is this coming up for a reason? Because the thing with the Seven of Swords is that... 
And sometimes it comes from a place of us feeling uncomfortable with our desires. Sometimes also the Seven of Swords pops up because we want something, but it's not in alignment with us. And the Seven of Swords, that feeling of, I don't want people to see that, is telling you that morally maybe you're not okay with something. Definitely can be part of the reason why this comes up. It can also be like a sense of shame that you feel like I need to, Seven of Swords, I need to hide this part of myself that's connected with the desire that I have or I feel uncomfortable with other people seeing me play this role. Another way this can be interpreted is that like I want to step into this role but I don't want to do the work necessary so I'm going to sabotage my chances and tell myself this and that and not allow myself to really step into this thing that I want to step into. So again, so many different ways that this can be interpreted. But ultimately, it's about us knowing that there's something that we want to do and creating some sort of like chaos or veil and then not stepping into this thing that we want to step into. Because it even seems like there could be a dream role, job, position, career, accomplishment, something that you want to do that something is getting in the way of. And Seven of Swords can be like you want something and Seven of Swords pops up and is like, oh, that's going to be really difficult to do. It's like stuff that comes from a fear space and kind of like sabotages all the ways that you try to progress. The best way to work with the Seven of Swords is to bring light to it because it comes from a shadow space of like subconscious energy when you dig it up and get to the bottom of it and bring light, which is like awareness and consciousness and love and compassion and all of that, it tells you why why that's popping up and where that's coming from. Why it's affecting the choices that you're making and you're thinking. And the Seven of Swords, it hides in the dark because it doesn't feel that it's going to be accepted. Like, that is the fear. And that's why it wants to hide away. I do keep seeing the King of Cups popping out, popping back in. Hmm... It seems too like there's room for you to be upset about something, but I'm also seeing you at the same time not want to get completely dragged under with this. So the water may be feeling a bit choppy and you're in a space where you're like, I know that I can swim out of this riptide that I'm experiencing right now, but you're still experiencing it too. So I know it's like definitely taking some, some exercise for you in relation to your water energy. Temperance, managing, adjusting, assimilating, working something out. You may have some stuff that you're taking care of right now that you're balancing with other areas of your life. I'm hearing slow on the come up. It looks like there is something that you're working yourself into, up to. It's just going to take some time. It seems like... Even though you could want to automatically be in this position or like have this job or be working this role and just already have it be official and I'm doing it and I don't need to learn anything and like the learning curve, we're beyond that now and it's just another thing under my belt. It's not going to be like that. And you may be in a space where you're like, well, I wish that it were otherwise. However, at the same time, you have to kind of adjust to what is going on right now and you're in a space that is more of an adjustment period and so as much as you could be like well I wish that I were already there and I didn't have to do all of this like fuss and muss that's connected with this it's still necessary because it's a transition and temperance says that the more we get comfortable riding this wave 
the more second nature this is going to become. And then eventually you're going to get to this spot that you want to get to. You just need to take your time with it. And before you know it, you're going to be in this space that you've been wanting to be all along. This is definitely a learning period for you. There's a lot that you're taking in as this is happening. There's definitely also a focus on you keeping your integrity no matter what this is that you're doing too. I'm curious to see what's going to clarify this Seven of Swords for you. Because we're about to get more information on what that is exactly. Okay, Seven of Swords for some of you is this is going to take time and so why am I going to do this anyway? It's like an impatience that you would be feeling. Like if something could happen, like you would do it without a doubt. For some of you, because this thing that you want, this thing that you want, this thing that you desire, this thing that you wish for, because it would take time, you're in a space where you're like, I'm not going to wait for it. Or like I may take an easy way out and cut corners. The Seven of Swords can be as well. Okay, let's see what else. Because for some of you, it may be something different. No. This is what it is here. I don't want to take the time that it takes. Yeah. A frustration with the process and being like, is there a quicker way to get this done because I don't want to take the time that it needs? This can also be like not trusting. Like my ego says that it should be happening now and I want it to happen now rather than I'm trusting the divine timing and I know that this is unfolding on the timeline that it is meant to. So this is also about transmuting that energy through affirmations if that's helpful for you. But yeah, the shadow sneaks up and is like, is this really working? It's taking a lot of time. It's like this, this whisper of doubt and fear that comes through because of the process of something that has your faith kind of wavering in a situation because you're like, but I want it so badly. And the shadow is like, is that really going to be happening though? It's kind of like the devil on your shoulder type of vibe. It's like, maybe we could find an easier way to do this, but it's something that maybe you feel is not in alignment with your integrity or it would have you like showing up in a character that you feel like is not representative of who you are. So yeah, don't lose faith just because something is taking some time and don't give up on it because it is all working out as it is meant to. And these are just thoughts that are going on. This means too you don't have to like hold on to them and identify with them. You can allow them to come up and notice them, observe them and allow them to keep moving through like wind just passing by. You don't need to allow it to stick to you and you don't need to like make something of it. And that doesn't mean like pushing it away and ignoring it. It means like allow it to come up to you and you look at it and you're like, okay, I see that you're here, but not feel like you need to grab hold of it. So you let it come and you let it go as it wants and you don't really need to do anything else with that. But yeah, don't sabotage something just because it's taking time is a big message that I'm seeing here for you. This is something that's going to take time, especially because... With this Nine of Cups, this is something that you really want. And again, to have it associated with the King of Pentacles, this feels very connected with like your career, reputation, your public life, um, your aspirations, your dreams, your sense of purpose, all of that. How you want to be presenting yourself. Yeah. So this is about a path that you want to go down that's connected with that. So it's like having this role that you want to 
have and then doing with that role what you want to be doing because there is a desire to have an opportunity and to start something that you would feel very very interested in but as i said before this is taking some time it seems like something something needs to be more solidified as far as like a role so this can be like i need to learn certain things i need to gain certain skills this is going to take hard work it's going to take like time and practice and um repetition things like that that are associated with earth sign energy where it's like practice and showing up and consistency and, and repetition and all of that stuff and doing like quality work and you taking the time to learn that and then I'm seeing this opportunity that you want. I'm hearing craft. I'm also hearing skill. Then this opportunity is going to pop up. So this can be like, I want to learn to um, like be an accountant. I want to learn to be a painter. And so you need to learn like the basic skills of that thing or like get that diploma or whatever it is that you need or that certification. Um, regardless of whether it's a piece of paper or not, you're in a spot where you're like, I have the skill set that I would need to be able to properly and fully fulfill that role. So this is about acquiring what that is that you need through like hard work, determination, grit, and then once you have that skill set, once you've gotten into that position where you can like rightfully say, this is what I'm doing, like this is one of the things that I do and I'm very like well prepared to be doing that um, and knowledgeable about whatever this is. And then that thing that you've been waiting for, like that ideal project that you wanted to work on, I'm hearing sermon that ideal project or pathway that you wanted to go down, it then becomes available to you. This means that it is in the process of happening. This is like the cue card of like, we're channeling this energy. This is in the process of happening. These are the seeds that have been planted in the garden. And then that thing finally coming to fruition, this thing materializing that you want to do comes through for you. So yeah, what you want wants you back. Very much so. I keep seeing the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. Hierophant represents Taurus. also looking at Aquarius here. Sag is here too. Okay, so we have Aquarius. The, the mm, Six of Cups. Interesting. Okay, maybe somebody that you know is going to be arriving. We have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This can mean connecting with someone. For some of you, this is like a collective group of collective group of people. Collective group of people people that would be mutually supportive of you and what you're doing this can even be like you connecting with your guides over something that you're doing okay so you are pursuing a path that feels very connected with your purpose again this is like a dream role of yours to have the jupiter and pisces and also the star jupiter and pisces jupiter and pisces and the star touching like this what this means is that like something of a wish fulfillment because like the Aquarian energy, the 11th house, it speaks about the collective, your dreams, the things that you want to go after. It's like if you could if you could pursue like a dream life of yours or a dream role that you want to be playing, position that you want to be in, career, what would that look like to you? And it looks very much like you have the opportunity to make something possible. And it's because you're going after something that feels so genuine and authentic to you and taking the time and putting in the work that's necessary. And I'm seeing this like even surpass, surpass your wildest dreams that you have, but it really takes the consistency in you showing up. Like this is not something, 
I'm not saying it be like, this is just going to magically fall into your lap by you being complacent. It's the opposite of that. This is like you doing what you need to do and the universe is going to meet you halfway and bring this thing to your doorstep. This is like something that would really benefit you. This could really benefit other people. This could be a healing path, like any type of dream or aspiration that you have. This is something that you feel super excited about moving towards, something that feels right to you. And it, this is like, this thing is happening right now. As I said before, just because it's taking time, do not abandon ship. It's like, as soon as you get out of line in the queue, you would have been the next one up to get the prize type of thing here. So don't get out of line. I'm seeing too, also for some of you, you may be kind of like within this career, you've like sort of found this thing that you want to be doing. It's just taking time right now, but there are going to be opportunities. I'm seeing even like a very ideal opportunity that you would want that's associated with this. Because this is more than just, this is more than just the Ace of Wands where it's like an opportunity that it's like we could go anywhere with this. This is different than the Ace of Wands because this is something specifically that you feel excited about. This is something that you have some type of genuine connection with that you feel like really inspires you. And this is something that you would already have had your sights set on too with these energies. Like this is something that you you in your head are like, it would be so ideal if this opportunity happened and then here it is for you. But again, it's going to take you sticking with this. I feel like this is just like a pep talk from pep talk from your guides being like, do not give up on this dream of yours. Keep going because I'm seeing something is definitely happening. It's in the process of happening and you don't want to stop now. And there are things that you're getting adjusted to. It's kind of like you're getting your suit fitted for this role that you're playing and it's almost done being fitted. And then I'm seeing this opportunity is going to show up and you'll be like, I'm in exactly the right outfit for this situation. Feeling very prepared for what this is. And it looks like it's going to be a big thing that you're going to be a part of. I'm seeing there be like a lot of celebration that's associated with this and a lot of stability as well. This does look like something that you're going to be a part of for quite some time. There are also going to be times when things don't go exactly as expected. I'm hearing nearly as expected. Let's see more with this. For some of you, you've had some situations, some interpersonal situations that have not gone in a particularly ideal way. This looks like it's with close relationships. Like this can be with very close friends or partners, things like that. Maybe something that you're still feeling kind of down about. Don't allow this to... Mm. What this looks like to me is that like in your personal life, you may have some stuff that went on that felt very disappointing. Don't let that distract you from what it, from what you're doing when it comes to like your career, your purpose, your public life, and like that type of sector for you. That other area of your life. Because I'm seeing something that you're still working with right now that may still be affecting you. You could feel like kind of sad or kind of blue about something. And I'm seeing you're like dealing with this as you're doing your other stuff too. But just because here, this is the thing. Something may have happened or like a situation went in a way or maybe multiple situations went in ways where you're like, I really wish that that would have worked out or that would have been the person for me or what have you. Um... And this sadness that you're feeling at times or like this loneliness or whatever this is for you or regret or like I should have done this differently or taken that step over there or jumped over that spot in the road here. Um, don't allow that to feed this that is having you feel a sense of doubt in yourself and doubt in what is occurring. Because I'm really seeing something sensational that's going to be 
manifesting for you that is manifesting for you you just may not be seeing the like result of this materializing yet but it is definitely coming okay and like you guys know me by now you know what type of reader I am I'm going to be like dead honest with you every time if I see you doing something and it's like this is not going to work out, I will tell you immediately when I see something that is going to be working out, I let you know. So you know that I'm not blowing smoke here. This is for real. Something that you want is manifesting. It's just about you sticking with it and to have it be associated with the King of Pentacles. This is connected with like finances, a role that you're playing, things that you're in charge of, things that you're taking care of, you being in an independent energy, career related things, stuff like that. Your sense of purpose. This is going to help connect you in a way that you were not feeling connected before. Because I am definitely seeing some situations that have occurred that could have made you doubt and be like, I don't want to be a part of connected things. I don't want to open myself up. I don't want to open my heart up because I've been in situations where people have betrayed me before. And I don't want this to turn into a situation like that. Keep your heart open. It's going to be worth it. Keep your heart open towards what you want. Yeah. And keep working. Let's talk about this too, being connected with the King of Pentacles. If you have a skill, if you have an ability that you are working on, keep working on it. I'm, I'm seeing something that it looks like you are very practiced at whatever this is that you're doing. So the past experience that you've had has definitely helped you. And what you're doing now is kind of standing on the shoulders of that. Like a lot is being, Eight of Pentacles is like a lot being accumulated. This is like a lot of knowledge, experience, work, dedication, focus, things like that. Studying, understanding, learning. And the, the Ace of Cups is what you are connected with, what you feel connected with yourself, your senses, abilities that you have, what comes naturally to you that you are working on and increasing and making better and more effective. There's also a focus here on self-love too. For some of you, there's a partnership that you're going to be connected with. I'm definitely seeing that in the past, there are partnerships that you've been a part of that have like really not gone in the way that you wanted them to. And for some of you, you may have like sadness or, or regret or nostalgia, things like that, that are connected with the five of cups of like, if only it had been this other way rather than how it was. And I'm seeing that be connected with partnerships that you had. But I'm seeing that there's an, a new partnership. There is another partnership that is manifesting. That it seems like you're preparing yourself for. Getting prepared for. For some of you, this is going to be a work situation. For others of you, it doesn't solely have to be a work situation. But for some of you, it definitely can be. Somebody that you're going to be teaming up with. How about that? Ten of Cups. So we're ending here with the Ten of Cups. So something that... Something that begins feeling like an unfortunate situation... Actually turns into a fortunate situation... So this means like really opening yourself up, opening your heart and giving something a chance and not sabotaging it just because you've gone through things that haven't worked out in the past, you know? It's about like not identifying so much with your wounds that you're not allowing like the blessings to come in that are just waiting for you. 
I'm seeing something that looks like a, a very happy culmination that you are moving towards. I think also that because of the experience you've had with the Five of Cups where you haven't gotten your way and things haven't worked out for you before and you have felt like disappointed and let down and sad about things, I think that you're going to be in a space to recognize even more so the happiness of the way that this situation does turn out. I think that you'll be in a space to be able to understand the gravity and like truly appreciate the outcome of this for you. So this is something that's going to be truly brilliant. We are looking at Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Gemini. Remember all of us have these placements in our charts. We all have all 12 of the houses. We all have a Jupiter, a Uranus, a Mercury. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for connecting. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.